Generic greetings and welcome back to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a very carbonated sprite. So welcome back to the game. In the previous episode, we got the bakery up and running and did some expansion down the south here, which includes the perimeter wall, the staff-only area thing. So yeah, overall, pretty happy with that. And while I remember, let me actually just secure that with, you know, some sort of a bit of wall. <laughs> so in this episode, we want to progress on and do some building. Specifically, I think we're going to go for Death Row. And originally, I was thinking of cloning this down the bottom here and this would be a protective custody area for the criminally insane but because of the classifications and how we'd have to set it up it would be a nightmare to deal with so we're just going to accept that well it's a limitation that we're gonna you know we're gonna just yeah <laughs> agree that it's uh, in existence and we can't really get around it but anyway moving on so as we can see the workers are cracking on with placing in a lot of the flooring which is normally opposite of what we do we normally ignore the flooring for well the majority of the episodes and then at the end if you're a long-term viewer you're aware that we then put the flooring in and it's sort of job done but decided to not go ahead and do that this time and we're putting in the flooring and as you can see here and it's just gonna make it well just a little bit nicer so let's go ahead and place all of this we'll speed it up while the workers crack on we have three grants on the go and also apparently this is control the levels of drug addiction in the prison so mates enter the prison with drug habits and it says if they can't get over their addiction they start to get angry they may start to deal in contraband to get their fix use reform programs to help their recovery eight prisoners are addicted to drugs and um, if we check out the where is it over our programs yes we do have uh, definitely the pharmacological treatment to drug addiction 11 in the queue but only one's attending because reasons anyway yes yeah, so that's on the go grants we've got the reform program research we've got the uh, reform prisoner initiative and we've got bakery production skills that uh, that's not the one i was supposed to get okay i'm gonna have to go ahead and dump the bakery production but i will go for um, what do we want to go for? Probably carpentry apprenticeship. Why not? And that's to produce 10 superior beds. So let's go ahead and probably check out, yeah, the flooring. We need to put the corners on, so we'll do that. And that's someone that's running around massively in the uh, parole area. Hmm. Anyway, so over to the, over to the, uh, yeah, the cornered pieces here. And... You know, it's not going to be ideal, whatever we do, but there we go. We'll put these in, and I might as well unpause it and let them crack on while we're waiting for that. The Chief, according to some of our guards, the new radio host is riling people up. So we don't have any radios, so I'm not really worried about that. The only radio is, uh, I believe, staff facing. So, yeah, again, we don't need to worry about that one, although it looks to be... A bit of a fight or something going on there. Anyway, danger level is going down, so I'm not going to concern myself too much over that one. It'll be what it'll be. And just get these corner pieces in. And then it should hopefully look pretty, pretty all right. It should look pretty much sorted. And I think that is, aside from the odd little bit, pretty much it. Yeah, I think so. We've got those pieces in there. Put those pieces in there. We have are oh, yet to put in these ones. So we'll put that in. Rotate those around. And that goes in there. That's fine. I knew there was a piece that I'd missed. Which is that. And indeed that one. And I think that is all okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, obviously there might be a little section that I've missed, but eh, it's uh, it's sorted. Okay, wall, death row sec, and we're going to build this in here. Now, I haven't yet planned it out, so I should probably probably go ahead and do that now, actually, while, <laughs> while it's getting built. That's not like me in actually getting it, uh, building it before the planning. Very much not like me. So I'm thinking the... I think we have an area here for this is death row that's big enough and then the cells we can have along will this fit in oh it does fit in one two three four for death row that is pretty much what we want 
Just to go over to one of the teachers is bringing in huge amounts of contraband. Okay, we'll do a full shakedown tonight then. Also, while I'm waiting, I, firstly I need to pick up Death Row for 10 grand. I'm also going to go for Offshore Tax Haven, I think. Because we've got so much money. We Well, <laughs> it's uh, art imitating life. I've got so much money I can afford to make more money by paying less tax. Who knew? Right, okay, over to the power here. And the power for this one is perfectly acceptable. So that's going to run down like that. And it'll run into the chair in the middle. So let's go ahead and put in the walls. So yeah, not messing around. We're just getting this built. And it'll be built not like that. And I didn't want to remove that power cable. I didn't think it would have removed that power cable. It being... Yeah, I didn't think it would have removed that. Anyway, across and down to there. That's fine. Because it's a utility, I thought the thing wouldn't work. Anyway, so it's currently sleep time. Uh, full shakedown of the facility. And then this thing is going to get very, yeah, very, very problematic. It's going to get, <laughs> it's going to kick off, basically. So we need to have security room, which is going to go there. We need uh, some cells, which is going to be... Uh, just standard cells actually, so cells like so. Walls, I'll actually put the walls in, it would be, always be useful in order to contain the inmates inside the facility and all but three lights are going to be removed because of course they are. <laughs> uh, lots of contraband here. Ropes, sedatives, syringes, barbed wire, stun baton. Where's the that, that's the, that's the curious one. Where's the stun button come from? We've got a stun button in. Can't find it. There it is. It was it was actually smuggled in. The main thing is it wasn't taken from one of our. Yeah, one of our guards, which is always useful. Some intake here as well. Storkel, quick criminal insane, etc. For this, I'm setting it to staff only for now, so we don't uh, have this fill up. And there's obviously all of these triggering. Yeah, I think we can go at a normal speed now. All right, so I think we need to use the spare lights to actually light up the facility because it is. A little bit dark, isn't it? There we go. And we want... Ooh, we don't have execution yet, but we do have the stuff for cells. So for cells then, we're going to have a... bed. We're going to have toilets. And... showers. So a shower head. You can hear the noise of the... There's a danger level, so everything's sort of very clunky. Bookshelves are going to go in. And... Window, maybe? No. TV? I'm not going to put a radio in, because it may prove an issue when you have to remove them. I can hear tasers there as well. Gym mats. And... Prayer mats, and that'll be about it. I'm just going to stop the shakedown because we've got enough going on. All right, that is perfectly fine. So there's that. Security is going to have a similar thing. We're going to go with maybe filing cabinet there. Office desk is going to go there. And then, oh, no, we're not using that office desk. We're using the proper office desk, which is the desk fancy, followed by a office chair which goes there and then execution obviously we'll get once we actually have access to that technology i also think the kennel could probably do with some more dog crates <laughs> um one thing that i've thought of actually after the fact typical is that we currently don't have any any offices like this that are doing that are doing the uh, is it I'm trying to think of the exact name of the program now. So the only one we're not doing is a behavioural therapy. Yes, behavioural therapy. That you can have several in the queue, and it might be an idea to instead of build instead of building over here with the kennel, maybe 
because we don't need the kennel this size. It was just a case of we can, so we have. But I'm thinking maybe cut this off, have a smaller kennel, but have two extra offices that are solely for, yeah, solely for the behavioral therapy. Obviously, it would mean hiring some more people, but that's fine. There's, we've got a psychologist. How many can we have? We can we can have more than one. It's fine. Yeah. So you can only have one chief, only one warden, and only up to five foremans, but you can have more than one lawyer. Don't know why there's a limit on foremans. Maybe because it's like money. You can make loads of money. But there's not a limit on accountants or lawyers, even though why would you ever hire more than one? I, I don't know. I actually don't know. Anyway, so this is getting built. I'm just going to speed up to max speed while everyone cracks on. We're going to check informants here. And, ah, we have potential CIs. Recruit informant. All right. I'd very much like to activate our confidential informants. In fact, why don't we do that? Let's see if there's any notable traits. It's nice to do this every now and again. And there we go. So two people being targeted. This person here, which is in ex-law enforcement, they're currently in protective custody. And this other person over here, Stoneman, which, well, we can't do anything with because they are criminally insane and, well... Oh, hang on, that was... something. Sorry, I saw someone was around here. Why were they around there? They are... <laughs> hmm. They must have been escorted. And also, I'm just seeing... P uh, Pippa here, who's got their hands up. And I think they were... I think they were shot. I think the sniper actually shot them because they've got their hands up, so they're giving up. Yeah, that's probably what's happened there. Interesting. Anyway, back over to the... Back over to here, and... Again, we're seeing the odd fight, but we've got so many orderlies that it just sort of works. We'll be doing the reformed prisoner initiative very shortly. We're on 88 there, 88%. We are... I very much like legal prep. We'll, def we'll definitely pick up execution liability. Also, we now have an execution room, which can go in there. We will have, for that, it needs an electric chair. So that will go in... Well, there isn't really a middle, so I'm just going to put it in the corner. And then you need... I say need. Chairs are... Actually, I think you do need chairs, so we'll put them like that. And then... Naturally, we have to, have to have the doors on this thing. So we are going to use... There's a remote door black. That might be interesting, having remote doors on this only. But it needs it needs a servo. Oh, yeah, and if this... Oh, right, okay, we've had problems with this before. Because if they don't install the servo first, basically you can't get access to them, which is... Well, that's not really a door. That's more of a wall. <laughs> so... <laughs> Let's see, anyway. So we're going to put in some of this stuff here. The flooring-wise, we're not going to use padded. We've got reclaimed rubber. We're using old materials. I'd like the idea of using like a slightly different material for the floor. We're definitely going to have green. We'll have like green carpet like this. Okay. Yeah, we'll have that. And the green mile type stuff. I've not actually seen the film. And then what have we got for the other security rooms? We just got standard concrete. So I mean that should be fine. Let's just run these along. And there's all the flooring. And then for these cells, I think we're just gonna go with green again. I think that should be perfectly plain. Plain? It should be perfectly fine. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Oh, twelve prisoners are now addicted to drugs. That's yeah. What is the supply? Checking out intelligence here. There's loads of supplies, actually. Hmm. I don't know how there's... Supply for producing narcotics. Oh! I think we can get it from here. Yeah, possibly. Possibly. But anyway, these cells need to be enclosed. They'll get on with that shortly. In terms of water... We will need to bring some of that over, so utilities and water. And I might as well just run it down like so. Probably actually just need to bring it down to about there. I think that's about right, yeah. And then the small pipes like that. Just connect up like so. 
Okay. Well, I'm an electrical. Yeah, I was going to say I definitely need it. Oh, I was going to say I need to connect that up, but it is actually done. Wiring then. Looks like the door servo is in. So I've got a door control system. One, two, three. And just the last one. Which is going to be built shortly, I hope. It does say it has been assigned an installer. Just takes a little while for them to do so. There they are. And there we go. They're now in. Brilliant. And that is now death row. Death row and staff only. We will put in some staff in deployment. Actually, while I'm here, though. Intake. Death row. Activated. So currently not available, but it will become available shortly. Patrols. We're going to go with a... Don't know if it really matters. Um, we'll go with blue. Now I'll go with magenta. Why not? Magenta patrol and a blue patrol. She'll go like that. And in that, we want to assign a guard in there and a dog to there. While I'm on, I did forget to do this bit. And it was mentioned in the comments. Uh, I just thought it was a different one. But it's easy, it's easily it's easily rectified. There's no dramas like that. Guard to there. Dog handler to there. I still haven't got any armed guards, and I don't really want them. Because it can be problematic. Okay, this then. These are the psychiatrist officers what we're going to do we're going to clone them and we're going to rotate it and then flip it so it is pretty much the same it's going to look a bit dodgy but it is it is going to be in radio host was fired okay fine and oh hang on have we finished that grant? No. Three grants. It just looked like it was finished. Oh, it's underneath that one. Fair enough. There's uh, someone who's unconscious there. And they are very stressed out. In punishment. I don't know what's happened to them there, but there's something going on. So we now have Death Row. We also have 36 grand. And we're making 10 grand per day. So, naturally... Ah, yes. Naturally, the best course of action, once this is built, I think, is to just clone this. Just get more prisoners. There we go. That was that was easy enough, wasn't it? <laughs> and these rooms, obviously, we do need to change the room designation. They're not going to be the uh, they're not going to be the psychologist's office. Sorry, psychiatrist's office. They're going to be a yeah. So we'll change it to office because there's psychiatrist offices and just offices. So they're now offices. And if I get some staff and get a psychologist. There we go. It says they require an office. Then I've got an office. Um, ban all TVs and common rooms. Oh, okay. Right, well, we have to do that. So, as you've seen previously, the one of the ways to do that is to simply remove the designation of common room underneath the TVs. It's a bit of a mess on. <laughs> to come back to it, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not enjoying that prospect. And... No, it's still saying there are some common room. Oh, yeah. That should be it now. Yes, there we go. So they'll still be able to use them. <laughs> We've just removed the designation and been... Well, let's be honest, it's a bit cheeky, that, isn't it? Prioritising this, and we're going to go down to our programmes, and we're now going to make less money by firing up. We have Death Row Appeal, and we also have Behavioural Therapy. So we're going to do Behavioural Therapy. It's going to go near the top, I would imagine, yes. And we're just going to mash this button until it says you don't have yet yeah, any, any more people. So there we go. We've 
ran some behavioural therapy. So hopefully better than not running it. I mean, we are on... Where is it? Reform. We're on 30% reoffending rates. So we have had that point previously. And it is good that we've got to that issue. <laughs> that, that point. Uh, yeah, we can see we've... Um, We've not made any money on releasing prisoners early. Oh, death. Where? Here. Food poisoning? It was in the bakery. But I'm not seeing... Not seeing where it was. Also, yes. We must do something. A lot of our prisoners are addicted to drugs. Eight of them, apparently. And we are running the Drug Rehabilitation Initiative. Isabella, Isabella Denning here, potential CI, so we will recruit. And there we go. So we're running programs here. We've got this in. This is getting built. While we're waiting, we might as well do the patrols. So we're going to go with a blue patrol because it's going to be adjacent to this. And that's a dog handler. And... We normally do blue patrols in the middle, but we just alternate based on what it is. As long as they don't meet up, it doesn't matter, actually. And we'll assign a guard to that. And for those, it'll be set to mid-sec. Only. There we go. Okay. Apparently there's a tunnel there, and... That could be legitimate. Oh, I think that is legitimate. Right. Let's do the toilet trick again. <laughs> yeah. Place a toilet over the area. And then build a toilet. Rip it out. And if there was a tunnel there, you automatically detect it. Because tunnel search just very often doesn't work. Is it coming up and down and round? Where would they be tunneling through? It's all equidistant. That's the quickest way through. So I don't know what the I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're up to. I don't think they know. So just putting the outside toilet in. <laughs> I have prioritized it, but I'm still waiting for it. But good grief, look at the stuff here. How are we doing for staff? We've got 17 workers. Why 17? It's a bit of an odd number. Yeah. Lots of people working in places as well, which is good. And oh. Penelope's been fighting in here. It's often the case that the prisons do kick off there. I was tempted to put some guards in the visitation and the parole, but that would be like six. <laughs> Unless we mess around heavily with the scheduler, which we have done before, but we'll see. Oh, there's the toilet in. Okay, so now dismantle the toilet and again prioritise that. And here's the tunnel. Let's see how big it is. Is it going to be a big tunnel? Good grief. I made the wrong assumption. That's a big tunnel. So my... Assumption was that it was coming along here and down. But it was from the bottom and then they've went all the way up. Wow, that is a very big tunnel. Let's remove that. And again, prioritise that. Brilliant. So... We will need to bring in the utilities, and that's going to run across. Oh, they've put the doors in. I will lock them open, because we have done for, for these ones, I believe. Yeah, locked open, that's all right. Locked open, and locked open. Yeah, that's good. And the piping will run in. And then these bits here. All right. That's not too bad at all still no death row inmates but we do have we do have the capacity to get them now which is good and we've got obviously other stuff to do we've got another cell that can go here another yard that's going to go there then we've got a flower ther well, this was flower therapy in the other area and then this bit here but basically what more to do well, I think we're going to go and build this in the next episode, potentially. And that will be our, like, solar stuff. 
I don't know. I'll have a think. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed the episode and the series as far as always. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.